Game three to the decider. Game three, the decider. Battlefield of Eternity, twin lane map, team fight centre. It's going to be exciting, Egg. It's going to be exciting. Yes, and I can hear the excitement in your voice. So I it's going to be tell by your gusto, mate. Lee, is it is Blue Team seriously going to be Le ban Lee Ming? They are. Blue Team denies themselves the Lee Ming. No, it's not. The screen's flipped around once more. Red Team has banned the Lee Ming. No, Blue Team. Uh, yeah, it was Red Team who banned Lee Ming for Nitro, yeah. Yeah, I know. Sometimes the, the UI flips around a bit. It's a bit confusing. So we're going to see what they're going to give with Nitro. Uh, get rid of the mobility on Micro. Maybe trying to target her, forcing her to be a bit more you know, down to earth, less darty around the map, and that way they can focus and blow her up. But it's all about team fights this map. It's all about controlling that Eternal in the middle, killing yours, or denying them killing their own target. But the biggest trick that I think people would neglect to think about on this map is the timing of the Merc camps. You've got to get the timing of the Merc camps right. If you time that, they can do a lot of damage on the push, or you're focused on the boss. Then you don't have to win, you just have to deny for a very long period of time. So it's all about team fights. Uh, Giga taking Malfurion. Interestingly enough, he plays an amazing serial. He was candidate for MVP the last game. Um, Malfurion is, uh, as I say nearly every game, the best healer in the game at the moment. Uh, especially with the mana regen that he can give to other players. Lots of sustain in the middle, uh, which is particularly important on this map. But I am surprised he didn't pick Tyrael. Claymore's gone back to Toronto again. I think the, um, again, it's a question on, on Team Hills and how strong they are. Stitches for eyebrows. He loves his stitches. So, what do we got? We need some damage from the blue team. This nitro specialty. What, what are we going to go with here? Oh, we've got a ban at the moment, sorry. Here's a question. Can Stitches eat Chen while he's in barrel form? I don't think so. I don't think so. The stranger things have happened. Grey more Grey Main Band. I haven't seen Grey Main Band in, uh, used in in house since Dante's period of time, so I'm not sure what the focus of that was. Nitro actually plays an okay grey main. Tracer. Tracer band's interesting because that really allows the better option for um, Chromie. You know, being a backline bully, Tracer. Oh, big frontline. Mammoth frontline, Chen and Hal Mary. They're going to need Nitro doing his utmost. We're almost seeing a uh, copy of the match from before, but we've got a uh, Rev denying Micro that Zagara picked. You know what I can see Nitro picking here? I can see Nitro picking a Kerrigan. Yeah, good point, but then it will leave them with the only range being Tarande and Zagara, not high damage dealers at range. I don't think uh, she would have enough support for that. I think it will go more of a range pick here. Alright, Maneve, Kale. Yeah. That's a birthday good pick. Oh, I'm picking Chromie. Even at Chromie. Not, not great on this map, but he's very good at her. Oh, I think Chromie's pretty good on all maps. Oh, there, there he is. is. Mm. And because Micro doesn't have the Lanara, uh, Chromie will be considerably safer.
for battle heroes. And here we go. Too many beards, not enough pie. We loaded into that game, I started right clicking, then I remembered I was spectating. <laughs> I did exactly the same thing, I was going to try and turn it to a joke, but I couldn't. <laughs> but, did exactly the same thing, I'm like, right click, right click, right click, ah, oh, wait a second, something's not right here. <laughs> this could be interesting, we've got uh, 4v1 top and 4v1 bot. I reckon we'll call it a draw. I dare say Sylvanas is slightly safer. Yeah, with Mark her escape struggle. But if she hits an oh. hourglass or anything like that, she's Big in trouble. From Braze. But, uh, Pulling a tower already. Nothing not. happening. I think reverse two is coming up from save the money. Oh, here they come, mid. Al Mary, Chromie. Reverse Coco has got to get some stuns out there. Big hook on the Chromie. Oh, it was a good hook, but nothing to follow it up. Phoenix is damaged, but it got a little dart out. Excellent healing from Giga there. I was just gonna poke from those clouds. Oh, Phoenix has seen him. Throwing the hammers out. Stasis. Oh! Moo at the front on Jaina. Risky play. Red team could definitely coordinate their attacks there. If they could get a Malfurion stun combined with a Stitcher's hook, it would be devastating to any of the, any of the players on the blue team. Nitro is just focusing solely on on uh, Jaina at the back line. The range is being very powerful. <laughs> Another one straight through into the face of Moo. Bit of a mana regather here from uh, the Chromie. Lots of damage going out. Oh, Nitro's, Nitro's got the root down. This is see if Giga walks into it, he's done. And... But not enough damage at this stage of the oh, game. Body blocked by around. Micro. Poor Giga, still gets out just fine though. Red's going in deep, he's going to get body blocked. And we got the, the Immortals are up now, so it's a matter of who can do the damage the quickest. The blue team have got the better positioning with the Red, red Immortal spawning top. Chen's this holding the zone against the Sylvanas down bottom lane. Yeah, Sylvanas really needs to focus 100% on the creeps. Sorry, Gunter. Well, side note during this action, our guys has been down with the break this whole time in the bottom the bottom lane has been setting her uh, setting break on fire getting those stacks up for the accumulating oh. flame great isolation moves from the blue team up top it's cyber is stuck out of position sylvanas comes up to help there's not enough damage hail mary's not going to let phoenix escape he's got he's got the barrel roll no he just drifts away but the red the blue team's dominating the immortal got it solely to themselves Blue team have to go into retreat uh, Chen is good at soloing that bottom lane, but having like four people in one lane is in, like it gets that quest up incredibly fast. You could have it done in five minutes. So red team just trying to recover some ground here. They're not trying to defend their own immortal. Oh yeah, they come now, but how Mary's at the, the front. Red team coming in. We've got no mana on Torondo. Oh, big top. Halstead walked into that. He saw it too. Oh, lots of damage going on Argos. Too tanky at the start of the game. Can he get the root off to trap him in there? Argos got the oh, good kill from Phoenix with the last hit. Red needs to go right in, all in right now. They can get that to Rondo. Oh, how Mary's in trouble. Good root. But Unstoppable gets them the release. Now they're in a tough decision here, Red. They've got to go back to the blue to try and knock it down while not letting the blue team come onto the Red Immortal. My breath standing at the front trying to deny. Time left some chromey. Bit of damage. Dodges the hook. He uses his. Focusing the wrong person there. Well, Mary's not going to go down easy. That's 7k ahead. And down good it. play by Blue Team. Engaging in a team fight over their opponent's boss is always a good strategy. I can move well out of position here. Stun locked in. So that's the end of her. Breeze behind enemy lines. Can they see him and get the kill? Argos is onto it. Oh, I think Breeze might be in trouble. There's a lot of body blocks to try and escape. Big, big damage by Nitro. Finalised by Argos. Kill count five to two already. Six to four lead. So this might be a good opportunity for the blue team to really get that early lane pressure. 
Try and get that, that roll on the at the top while that immortal pushes through the bottom. Chromie heading up to help top though. I think Chromie's trying to trying to get the kill. I must probably push Bake out a little bit too hard there. If he tries to run away, tries to drag Bake in, we're gonna have a chance of capture here. Oh, good body block by Hargives. Oh, good, good spirits by Bake. Managed to escape with the various of life left. Mortal drops a bot, but that fort is almost down. I must say, going with that extra level, just as that immortal was uh, was starting, was an, was an absolute excellent advantage there. Being able to push through, not having to worry and take the two at the top uh, to take down, uh, almost take down boy. Nitro is almost playing a psychological game here. He's, he's hit Phoenix for almost his entire health. Uh, they're not going to want to stand Ooh, still for the rest red, of the game. Red team, issue position, they've got the creep. That they're out of position. Ibrez with an excellent hook, but uh, the backup from Tarande. Oh, Moose got a lot of damage output. Kind of got a couple of kills there. She was a bit out of position, but blue, time, oh. blue team was a bit too low to capitalize on. Nitro from range just blowing everyone up. That two level advantage is really going to help the Chromie for the uh, the Insta Gibbs. Chen's still pushing Wake back up the top lane. Wake can't really do anything to stop it. He really needs to just focus down the minions. He can kill the minions a lot faster than Chen, but he cannot kill Chen yeah, he faster than Chen kills Sylvanas. He doesn't have a disable for his trait at all. And Argo's just going to soak up that ammo. That, uh, that XP train there, Argo's is uh, 3,700 in front of the next. Oh wow. So this is be a really good time now to try and get some mercs. If they can blow them up quickly to get the mercs pushing lane while they go into the models. Ibrez oh, getting some okay. great hooks off this game, but uh, never getting Micro the support from his team. Argos dives and gets there. Wake's gone away and he's trying to pick up the, the easy Merc camp, you would say. Well, it's not going to have much pushing potential. No one's fighting on their models at the moment. Nitro's, Nitro's down. Dive. They've got Hail Mary isolated, but have they got first damage to kill him? They've only got Phoenix as a damage dealer in that group. It's getting to the walls pretty easily. Still no one on them. Oh, Argyve soloing the immortals. Got it down a quarter by himself. Blake sticking up top, trying to push those towers down. Revs come to counter him. Red team have come back to defend their immortal now, but got the level 10, so all I have to do, blue team is just to poke, not team engage, wait until the team's there and they've got the ults up as an advantage. Big hook by Breach. Another excellent hook. Hail Mary off micro. Oh, the teams are split at the moment. I got no, no choice trying to get the kill on Blake, but no. Blake's just got enough face to get away. So they've got ult advantage, they haven't used it as yet. You don't need to, they both that oh, takes so low. Big. Chloe coming a bit late, but I came off for the, for the save. The Phoenix in trouble. Good route, boy, you get a save, Phoenix in the chase. Excellent team. stun from Claymore there. You got them, no mana, they're going to be able to push that immortal. Rev Coco's the more. If he chucks the more out here as an isolation move, put the more down, mate. Yes. That's fine. Get the Brez up. He's left eye Brez Yeah, good more, that. Always kept the fight separate. Although Reverse Coco's been stunned like a bottom. Big damage output from Phoenix. Oh, this could be the end. Wake. Got time <laughs> locked. Blow up. Just as a quick note, Red Team has been uh, leading hero damage as a team, but uh, unfortunately haven't been able to get the kills. Oh, escaping Frost Ring there, not able to secure any kills. But once again, that entire team fight almost occurred all over to the Red Team. Immortal. Just keeping on the back foot, letting his team push that Immortal down. I oh, appreciate his ulting, ult as an escape. He's support. Blue team just going to focus on getting that immortal down now. Oh, guys, standing watch over there, immortal. He's 
popped his, his ult. His up again. You go, burn health. Got oh. a good big shot by Chromie to get the kill. Excellent pick off, and blue team takes him more. Oh, body box. Oh, another time. Oh, Marco's block. going down. Big focus on Nitro at the back. This should be the end of him. Oh! Oh, oh he almost escapes. His hook for he's, the win. He's doing some good hooks. The whole time, the Immortals has been getting ticked away, so... Nice distracting technique by the blue team. 17 to 4, sorry, 14 to 7 kill count. Red team securing a kill, but they really need to get to the top to defend that. Ibra's coming up behind the team. Hoping for a pick off. Managed to successfully pick off the creep. <laughs> He's creating space for his team to get that on Yeah, no, it's good play, good play there by Ibra's. Isolation move. Blue team sort of have nothing much they can really do. They should probably get bottom, try and clear out that waves, get that last tower and get that bit of experience. Should be good. We'll see them take out that bottom Merc camp pretty Yeah, that'll be the perfect time for the blue team to take the bottom Merc camp. The red team, I think they're doing is going this Mercs at the wrong time. They're not going to get any advantage out of this. It's just going to walk up and get killed straight away. You need to hold off for another 20, 30 seconds, I think, and that'll be the perfect time to get those, uh, those uh, Mercs at the back. They're powerful Mercs because they keep respawning over and over and over again. The better left alone, especially when everyone's oh, fighting the Immortal. Oh, on Blake. Oh, what an escape! They do really, have a talent uh, advantage on blue team at the moment. So oh, we're going to try for a fight. Aggressive. Oh, the way the excellent the dodge on the guys. Top five with Earth. I was just trying for the body blocks. Ibrez got to navigate through a crowd of blue. Big silence. He's doing very well. Big silence from Blake. Turn the fight on its head. Oh, and the Great more has. What a what a fantastic coordination of uh, ults there we just saw. Ah, oh, pick off from Nitro Chromie over the gate. That was just counter counter alt to counter alt, all the way through. Fantastic game. That was good, but I have noticed one thing: is that red team are very ever rarely a five together in a team fight. Well, well, he said before about that, those mercs have been top knopping very advantage, have come back to bite me a bit, and managed to get two on the board at the same time. Blue team retreating, this would be a great time for them to put that merc camp, be fantastic. They'll spawn and walk down just as the immortals, forces the red team to make a decision, do they defend the mercs or do they go for the immortal? The guy has cleaned up the top wave now. But we've burnt all the mana in the process, so we'll see if the other team wants to go. Oh, oh, Bryce, can he interrupt he's that? Off here. Oh, he's Ooh! Ah, oh, just got the body block. Great route. Make sure the kill is secured. Ibrahim's trying to get that hook on Nitro. It's a job. Now we see a five on four. And a blue team, a uh, blue player down now is a long respawn time. Oh yeah, the ice block was great. Ibra is just going straight past everyone, using his ult to slow down the chasers, trying to get the nitro. Oh, big stun by the blue yeah, he's in a good position the here. Nitro is going to go around the back oh, here. Kicking needs to heal himself immediately. Oh. Got a good panic ult. Potentially get another pick off or two. Nitro just ran around, picked up the people at the back. That range, that range on Chromie is redonkulous. Argyve's not afraid to go out on Chen at the moment. Oh, he's chasing him down, trying to get Blake. No fear from Argyve's at all. Well, he's got Storm Earth fire up, and he's, he's not going to do much damage to the all, really. So he may as well distract their team by trying to push through and bot. He's going to need a backup now. I must say, looking at that area damage, still hasn't changed. Top five, three of them are still red, still haven't been able to convert those kills. Well, here comes the red team middle engagement now. Excellent hammer throw from Phoenix there. Oh, body box sucks out the uh, uh, sucks out the old. 
Red team trying to force this fight before Blue yeah, Claymore hits 16. sitting at the back, not really doing a whole lot of deal. He's just trying to poke the, poke the Immortal down while this team fight's going on. Both Claymore and Hale running low on mana. Oh. Red team three down though. Wake potentially dropping here. Giga's no, taking the no, silence instead of the heal. Giga's, Giga's in a lot of trouble. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. So again, the blue team managed to just scrape out the red team made the jump, but the blue team were just able to fight back and use their rolls to maximum advantage and secure those red kills. Red so team go, has been fighting at a level deficit. A lot of these big team fights. The stats do make a difference here, and it's just a level of threat. So I see our red team defend this. Got a twin lane push by the blue team. Two tanks at bottom. All the damage behind the immortal and bot. We've got three ults up on blue team. Only one on red. Could see a good defensive gust here. Ibrez going for the pickoff. Doesn't quite land. Oh, this the rain oh, from rough. Nitro just miles oh, out. Good, got a good more on two. Nitro's going to put Blue the team looking for Oh, and they just got blowed up. This could be GG right here. Three Zero level lead. Yeah, that's GG. Right. Just that burst is just. Definitely. Looking at these stats, top hero damage for blue, chromie 78,000, top damage for red, stitches 36,000. Wow, that's a mammoth difference to the hero damage of the next first player. And stitches too. Stitches does a surprising amount of damage if uh, the other team groups up. I feel like I want to give that one to our guys. Either Argives or Ibrez. Um, both playing their role as tank, um, doing plenty of distractions. Uh, there was a lot of chasing of Argives, and Ibrez was giving his team a lot of space. And you can't give MV two MVPs to the same person on one night, that's a rule. No. Just made it up. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Uh, Honourable mention to Nitro, though. He had, he had some very good long range pickoffs in that. And he, he did make uh, Red kind of run around, not sure what to do uh, when there are a few levels down. I'll, I'll go for Chen on that one. Yep, Chen seems to be consensus. He, Alrighty. Uh, he, he got out when he needed to. Um, he didn't stick around to die a needless death. Well, our guys enjoy shopping at the Unreal Aussie store.